On this quick tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to bake a high poly model to a low poly model and some other uh, kind of interesting technique in terms of uh, creating normal map textures uh, using planes and such. Uh, so for this first part, uh, I have a high poly crate, nothing really special, but I added a few little details. Uh, one thing to note is that the edges are beveled, uh, and I have some boards in here with some beveled edges as well. Uh, and then of course I have my low poly version, of which was created from the high poly. Uh, and you can see how many faces and verts. Uh, it is quite a big difference actually. So for this it's all hard edge very very simple and the idea behind this is that you want to get all those details from the high poly to the low poly and uh, you can do so within Maya uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my uh, rendering menu uh, but before that the one thing I want to point out is uh, before you bake your normal map you want to make sure that your UVs are laid out properly so basically, uh, what happens is that in the normal tangent space, it's going to write data uh, depending on where things are to this texture layout. So, so what I'm going to do is going to switch to my rendering menu, and then I'm going to go to lighting shading, then transfer maps. And the important thing to do here is uh, we want to basically add this crate and then uh, in the target mesh, and then you want the source mesh next. And then you left click on that and add source. So with this, what we want to do is we want to create an envelope. And the envelope is going to uh, basically tell Maya where to search for all those details. So to take a look at the envelope, I'm going to go to the target mesh drop down display to both and you can see it creates this red box overlay so the envelope you can increase or decrease uh, you want to be as close to the surface as possible anything that's going to be left outside will not uh, be taken into consideration so I'm going to say 1% for the envelope which should be pretty good for this case and then I'm going to click on normal map. Now it's going to give me a few options. The first thing you want to do is that if you set up your project correctly, uh, it will dump it into your project folder. Uh, so what I might do here is uh, I'll just go to source images and I'll dump the texture file here. I'll call this normal map and create. Don't worry about file type because we're going to select it over here. And uh, for this case, I'm just going to select TIFF. And so we get rid of that previous file type. That's a weird thing that 2014 does. Now you have two options, map space or tangent space. Um, in this particular situation, uh, tangent space produces better results for me. Uh, but feel free to switch back and forth to see the difference. Uh, you can connect the map after it's been baked, uh, so I'm just going to leave this as default. So uh, you always want to use binary numbers, so here I'm just going to use 248 by 248. And then uh, everything else. Now sampling, you can increase, but it's going to take longer, uh, or you could use it as a preview depending on how fast you want to work. For this case, I want high quality. Um, Filter size 3 is good, uh, fill texture seams, uh, I've seen people use 3, so I'm just going to go with that. Now, we're not using mental ray because the normal map is baked out uh, using Maya uh, software render. So once that's all done, basically it's a bake and wait. So now that the render is done, you can actually click on your object uh, and pull it away. And now you will see, let's get rid of this grid, back out of this. 
they're pretty pretty identical. You can see all the details got captured pretty well. Uh, yeah. So to show you our second option, basically we have uh, a plane with uh, several other objects uh, hovering above it. And the thing that we're going to be doing is the same process, bake out a normal map. But what's cool about this is that uh, any of the textures uh, or the details that are in these uh, polygon objects uh, will be baked into the normals uh, onto this plane and uh, without the plane actually having all this uh, information um, uh, a part of it. So this is kind of cheating the high poly process, which is a uh, pretty, pretty nice cheat, uh, especially if you're doing repeatable tiles and such. So we're going to take uh, this object uh, and go to Transfer Maps. And so we're going to remove everything prior. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click left click on this and go to add selected. And again, we're going to go to display both. And now I'm going to increase the search envelope as I did before. And as you can see that we want to make sure that envelope uh, gets above those details. So let's try 8%, which looks good. Okay. And then uh, again, normal math. So in this case, uh, I'm going to name it Tile, uh, and then uh, go down to Maya Common. All this should be the same. Uh, and then once that is done, just making sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, well, of course, we need source meshes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all those meshes, deselect uh, the, the plane, I'm going to add those. And so now, hopefully, when we finish up, it'll actually render. I'm going to just do a low quality preview for now, uh, for the heck of it. And uh, let's click bake. Now the texture has been baked, so let's take a look how, uh, how well it did. Uh, close this window. Now you can see all those fine little details have been baked in seamlessly, uh, which is pretty sweet. Uh, actually, the lower quality render did quite a great job. Uh, so, yeah, let's, uh, I'm just going to hide these for now. Let's take a look at the low poly crate and then the high poly crate. Let's do comparison. So now if I create a light, just a simple directional light. I'm going to go to use all lights. Uh, I'm just going to bring this out, scale it up so we can see it. So this is directional, it's very simple. So now you can see the shadow casting, uh, or at least the shining on the details works quite nicely. You can see that the normal maps uh, have a great amount of detail to them.